Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at how to simplify algebraic fractions. So for GCSE further maths, you may encounter questions that involve algebraic fractions because algebraic fractions is one of the topics, but also you may encounter algebraic fractions within other topics. And it's important to be able to simplify those algebraic fractions. So let's have a look at our first question. Our first question says simplify 9x subtract 12 all over 30. So if I wanted to simplify this, the first thing I would do is I would factorize the numerator because we've got 9x subtract 12. And both of those terms are divisible by 3. So we can take a 3 out. So you'd get 3 and then a bracket. And then if you divide both of those terms by 3, you'd get 3x subtract 4. So if we factorize 9x subtract 12, we would get 3 bracket 3x minus 4. And that's just basic factorization. And then we're going to put over and then we've got 30. And if we have a look here, both the numerator and denominator are both divisible by 3 because we've got 3 times this. And then on the denominator, we've got 30. So we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 3. So if we divide the numerator by 3, we would get, well, the 3 divided by 3 would just be 1. And then in terms of the denominator, we had 30, and we're going to divide that by 3. So that would be then 10. So that would be 10. So that means then we can write this as, well, instead of writing 1 times this bracket, I'm just going to write what's in the bracket. So that would be 3x minus 4. And then on the denominator, we'd have 10. So if we had 9x subtract 12 over 30, and we're asked to simplify it, the first thing I would do is I'd factorize the numerator to get 3 bracket 3x minus 4, and then it's still over 30. Then I would divide both the numerator and denominator by 3, and that would give me just what's in the bracket, which is 3x minus 4, and then over 10. And that's it. That's our answer. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Our next question, we've been asked to simplify 4x over 6x squared plus 8x. So again, what we're going to do here is we're going to factorize, and we're going to factorize the denominator this time. So the numerator will remain as 4x, and then that'll be over, and then we're going to factorize this. So 6x squared plus 8x, they're both divisible by 2x. So let's divide those by 2x. So let's take the 2x out. So let's do 2x, and then a bracket, and then let's divide both terms by 2x. So 6x squared divided by 2x would be 3x, and then we've got a plus sign, and then 8x divided by 2x would be 4. So factorizing 6x squared plus 8x would be 2x bracket 3x plus 4. Okay, so we factorized the denominator there. Now, if we have a look at this in terms of the numerator and denominator, we can divide both the numerator and denominator here by 2x because you've got a 4x here and a 2x here, and they're both divisible by 2x. We can divide this by 2x. We can divide this by 2x. If we divide the denominator here by 2x, well, 2x divided by 2x is 1. And then in terms of the numerator, 4x divided by 2x would be 2. So that'd be 2. So we'd be left with, in terms of this fraction, where we would write on the numerator, 2. And then the denominator, we'd have 1 times this bracket. Then that would just be the bracket. So that'd be 3x plus 4. So it'd be 3x plus 4. So if we were asked to simplify 4x over 6x squared plus 8, the answer would be 2 over 3x plus 4. And that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question. Okay, this time we've got a quadratic on the numerator and a quadratic on the denominator. So if we wanted to simplify this algebraic fraction, what we're going to do is we're going to factorize the numerator, we're going to factorize the denominator, and see if we can cancel anything out. So the question says to simplify x squared minus x minus 56 all over x squared plus 9x plus 14. Okay, so let's factorize the numerator to begin with. So if we factorize the numerator, what would we get? So if we factorize it, well, it's x squared, so we're going to put x's in the front of brackets. And then we're looking for two numbers at times together to be negative 56 and add together to be, well, this would be negative 1 because this is minus x, which is minus 1x. So that would be minus 8 and 7 because minus 8 times 7 would be minus 56 and minus 8 plus 7 would be equal to negative 1. And that would give us our negative x, our negative 1x. So I'm going to write minus 8 and then plus 7. So our two brackets would be x minus 8 and x plus 7. So we factorize the numerator. Now let's factorize the denominator. So in terms of factorizing the denominator, we would have it's x squared. So let's put x's in the front of our brackets. And then we're looking for two numbers that will times together to be 14 and add together to be 9. So I'm thinking 2 and 7 because 2 times 7 is 14 and 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. So it's going to be x plus 2 and x plus 7. And that's it. So we factorize the quadratic on the numerator. We factorize the quadratic on the denominator. Now we can simplify, because if you notice, we've got a bracket with x plus 7 on the top and a bracket with x plus 7 on the bottom. So that means we can divide the numerator by x plus 7 and divide the denominator by x plus 7. But in the same way, for instance, if you had 
15 twentieths. That can be written as 3 times 5 over 4 times 5. And you can divide by 5 and divide by 5 and you'll be left with 3 quarters. And if you cancel that down, you do get 3 quarters. So we're just going to divide the numerator by x plus 7 and we're going to divide the denominator by x plus 7. So that would be, well, they would just cancel out or you get 1 on a 1, but I'm just going to cancel them out like that. And then we're going to be left with x minus 8 over x plus 2. And that's it. So we've asked to simplify x squared minus x minus 54 over x squared plus 9x plus 14. The answer would be x minus 8 over x plus 2. And that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question, we've been asked to simplify 4x squared minus 25 over 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. So here we've got a quadratic on the numerator and a quadratic on the denominator. So let's factorize them both and see what we get. So in terms of the numerator, that's a difference between two squares. We've got the difference, that takeaway, and we've got two squares. So that'd be a bracket, 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 bracket. And if you need to recap the difference between two squares, if you go to Corp Maths and go to the videos and worksheet section and scroll down to, I think it's about video 120, there's a dedicated video tutorial there on the difference between two squares. So if we were to factorize this, we'd get, we'd square root each of them. So that'd be 2x and 5 and 2x and 5 and 1 with a plus sign and 1 with a minus sign. So that's what we get if we factorize 4x squared minus 25. It'll be 2x plus 5 and 2x minus 5. Because you square root each of them and put 1 with a plus sign and 1 with a minus. And you could check it. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times minus 5 would be minus 10x. 2x times 5 would be 10x. And if you add them together, they give you 0. And 5 times minus 5 would be minus 25. So that's it. Okay, so we factorize the numerator. Now let's factorize the denominator and see what we get. So we've got 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. So we're going to factorize this. Now this is a slightly harder quadratic, so you could recap the Corp Maths video on factorizing harder quadratics. Alternatively, if you use the split in the middle technique, feel free to use that technique as well. But I'm going to use inspection here. I'm just going to look at this and find what our answer should be. Um, but feel free to use the split in the middle technique if that's the approach that you use to factorize quadratics. So I'm going to do bracket, 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 bracket. We want to get two things at times together to be 6x squared. So it could be 6x and x or 3x and 2x. Now have a look at this. On our numerator, we've got 2x and 2x. Now we're going to simplify this, which means cancel it down. So the first thing I'd maybe do is look at the 3x and 2x to begin with. So I'm going to write 3x there and 2x there. And I'm going to see if that option would work. Now we want two numbers at times together to be minus 10. So I'm thinking perhaps either, you know, 1 and minus 10 or 2 and minus 5 or something like that. Now again, let's look at the numerator. We've got a 5, so I'm going to try the 5 and the 2 option, you know, and see where the negative sign would go there and see if that works. And I'm going to think if the 5 was here, because we know we're going to be cancelling that down. So just use that information to perhaps help you a little bit with the factorization. We're going to consider the 5 and the 2 and see, you know, one's going to be positive and one's going to be negative because they're going to times together to be negative 10. Now let's figure out where we'd put them to get the minus 11x in the middle. So if we make that negative, we'd get 3x times minus 5x, which would be minus 15x. And then if we put the plus 2 there, that'll give us 4x. And minus 15x plus 4x would be minus 11x. So that's it, we factorized it. Okay, so we factorized the numerator, we factorized the denominator. Now, if we have a look at this, we've got the same bracket on the numerator and the same bracket on the denominator. So we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2x minus 5. So we can divide them both by 2x minus 5. We could write a 1 there and a 1 there if we wanted to, but we're just going to cancel them out because we're timesing together. And then the answer would just be 2x plus 5 and then 3x plus 2. So that's it, that's our answer. 2x plus 5 over 3x plus 2. And that's it, we've simplified this. Okay, let's have a look at our last example. So our last question, we've been asked to simplify x plus one over three x squared plus x minus two. So here we've got our numerator, which is x plus one, but we can hopefully be able to factorize the denominator. So let's see if we can factorize the denominator here. So I'm gonna do bracket, 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 bracket. It's 3x squared, so again, I'm going to use inspection, but if you like using the split in the middle, feel free to do that. So we've got 3x squared, so I'm going to go for 3x and x, and we want two numbers that times together to be minus 2, and when we put them in the brackets and expand, we get our plus 1x. So I'm thinking if we put the 1 there and the 2 there, and then that will then be, if I want positive 1, so, so if I want to be plus x, it's plus 1x. So I'm thinking if we make that plus and that minus, that might work. So let's check that. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 1 is 3x. Minus 2x would be 1x, and then minus 2. So that's it. So we've factorized it. Okay, so now we've factorized the denominator, we can cancel out. Because on the numerator, we've got x plus 1. And on the denominator, we've got x plus 1. 
So we're going to divide both the numerator and denominator by x plus 1. So here, if we divide the numerator by x plus 1, well, they would cancel out. I'm going to write a 1 there because we need to have something left on the numerator. Whenever you divide x plus 1 by x plus 1, you're going to get that's equal to 1. You're not going to get it's equal to 0. So it's going to be 1 on the numerator. And then on the denominator, we're just going to be left with this bracket, which is 3x minus 2. And that's it. So if you're asked to simplify x plus 1 over 3x squared plus x minus 2, the answer would be 1 over 3x minus 2. And that's it. So in this video, we've recapped how to simplify algebraic fractions for GCSE further maths. And as I said, it's quite useful because algebraic fractions is one of the topics, but also you may encounter this in other aspects of the GCSE further maths qualification. And that's it. So I hope you find this video useful. Uh, the next video will be on adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. So feel free to go to Code Maths and watch that video as well. And also, if you like this video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.